Smoky 1000 and today I got my parcel. I've been waiting for this for a little while and within here we're going to be kind of not really baking but um, kind of putting things together here and it's going to this open this up so you'll know what I've got and we will go from there. So here we go. I'm going to bring you down to the table a little bit so we can open this up and can you see? Yep. See there, okay, yeah, pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of baking. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna see what I got. I got this is going to be hot chocolate bombs. Everybody's probably doing them, but I thought it was cool, and I wanted to try it and see how well it would work. And I had to get the molds. So I got, they give you one, two, three, and four molds. That's what you get for the bombs, okay? And I've got also over here, as you can see, I got hot chocolate, and I got some candy. A little bit of candy to put in there and I got some marshmallows which I kind of dipped into them because we've been having some hot chocolate already and I've been waiting for these for a while so and also I got vanilla chocolate and I got this um, chocolate chocolate so these go in the microwave so we're going to put these together in just a minute and I'm going to wash these first so they can dry for a few minutes and we'll do the chocolate part and get these going. I think I'll do the chocolate chocolate first and then we'll do that one after. Okay? You can do this as a gift and make them uh, a cute little gift if you want or you can just have them for yourself and your kids and uh, yeah, I thought this would be fun. So let me wash these up and let them dry and then we'll do the chocolate. Be right back. We are back. I washed them. I'm letting them dry, air dry. I wiped them out the best I could. So right now, this is for microwave. So I thought this would make be an easier way of doing it instead of melting your chocolate over a stove. And I wanted to try that. I've never used it, so we will try. So it says remove from outer package and remove from inner film. So we're going to take it out of here. And, ooh, we got lots of chocolate here. Microwave on 50% power to for 120 seconds. Do not microwave on high. Do not burn. Stir thoroughly. Heat for additional 15 seconds if needed. So, we're going to take it out of here. It doesn't say to break it up or anything like that. It just take it out of the plastic here and uh, oh yeah that smells so good okay so we are going to put it in the microwave do not overheat it says so you want to watch it and make sure you know um, but it says 120 seconds do not remove on high. Do not burn. Okay. So for important, it says for best results, allow to set up in freezer or refrigerate immediately after dipping. Okay. So, well, we're going to, what we're going to do, we're going to melt this out and then we'll be, yeah. we'll be back and we'll see how well it works. Okay guys, we're back and the chocolate has melted. Um, you don't, you have to really watch it, make sure it doesn't burn or anything, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to put them in our silicone. Now if you don't have these silicone, then you, if you have like a, a round tin one, you might want to put some oil in there before, but these are silicone, so we won't need to do that. And what you're going to do, you're just going to kind of take a little bit of it at a time. And you're just going <laughs> to kind of drizzle it, and you're going to go up 
on the walls with it as much as you can. Hopefully you can see this. And I'll just show you a little bit more. And you're just going to go up the wall. That's all you're going to do. And you want to cover it as much as you can. There, see? And we're going to go up the wall. Let me see. I got some here. You don't want it too thin because you want it to hold. So you want it just kind of like that. If you can see that. Here, let me bring it up. So just like that. And you're going to do all as many as you want to do. Um, you can involve your kids and they can help you do this. Be a nice Christmas thing to do. Oops, I got some on the thing. And we're just going to go up. I'm going to have to bring it closer, so just drizzle a little bit in there, and just go up the wall. Just like so. I'm going to do the chocolate first, and then I'll do some vanilla ones, so you can see both. Um, yeah, so there we go. Just want to make sure I get it up on the wall here. So it'll stick. There. And you kind of got to move a little bit. I mean, you know, it will start to harden, but um, yeah, you want it to harden. And uh, here we go. So we're going to put it all the way up here on the wall. I thought these were a cool idea. I've never done them. And I thought, you know, if you have kids, this is a great thing, and you guys can all do as a family. You could also give these out for a gift. Um, put it in a basket if you have other things you want to put in, and you want to, you know, put a couple of these in. Um, I'm just making them for us, so um, I might give a couple to my grandkids and uh, put some cellophane on them. They have, uh, you can buy the little wrappers at Dollar Tree. I don't have any, but you can buy, I think I got little bags so I could put it in and stuff like that. So you could do that and give them for a nice gift. And we're going to just do all of these so you see. And there. Just, I'm a little messy. But that's okay. It's alright to be a little messy. And it smells so good. It's chocolate. I like chocolate. So, there. Now I got these ones at Walmart. Um, you can use different kinds of uh, chocolate. You mean you can melt it over the stove if you want. I thought this would be easier, especially for parents that, uh, you know, don't want their kids around the stove and stuff. So I thought maybe this would work a little bit nicer. And you don't have to have all that mess. I mean, you still get a mess, but nothing. I'm using just a regular um, spoon. I think the big spoon would be just too much. I need a little drizzle in there. And uh, just kind of, because you don't want them too thin, but you don't want them too thick either. So, you want to go up the wall as much as you can. There. And you don't want to see the, the mold, you know. And it will settle on its own a little bit. There we go. And... I'm going to put this one aside, and I'm going to do this one, because you want two of them, and you want them both to be chocolate, so, and then, and then you'll see, I will be back in just a moment after I do this one. Okay guys, so we're back, I just saw a little mark while I was sitting here, and I just want to put a little bit more in there, in that one. Yeah, so they don't have to be perfect, you know, 
just make them yours. Anyway, so now what you want to do, you want to put it in the fridge or you can do it in the freezer. I'm going to just put them in the fridge because as you should see, they are already molding and cooling. So I'm going to do it for about 15 minutes and check them and see how they're doing. And then when they get hard, I will show you what we're going to do. Okay, guys, we're back. They don't have to be real pretty, but, you know. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take them out of the mold. These are ready. And I'm going to put them on a plate. And they just pop out really easy because, you know, it's the silicone. Um, there we go. I got this silicone on Amazon. They do have different ones. I didn't want them too big. Some people got um, do the big ones, and there's like six of them. So, but I I did the smaller ones. Okay, so there we go, and that's it for that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do? You're gonna end up putting them together like so. There you go. So we're going to try to do that, okay? Mm -hmm. So there is a trick that I heard about that makes it a little bit more smoother. And what you do, you take a plate and you put it on the oven, I mean the stove, for a few minutes so it's hot. Not real hot, just, just warms it up. And it will help smooth this. And what you're going to do, you're going to take this and just go around on it for a few minutes. It'll smooth the edges out a little bit and make them nice. And then you can put in what you want. We have our hot chocolate here. And we're going to dip some in there. And we're going to take a little bit of candy that I have here, unicorn candy. Sprinkle a little bit in there. And then what you can do... You take the X one and you smooth it around, just like slow. Oh, you gotta be careful. I just put my finger in there. <laughs> this is the first time I've done this, so. And what we'll do is just even it together, just like so. Yeah, I have a little hole though, unfortunately. And you can take this and just go around it. I poked a hole. We'll do another one, but it takes a little bit, um, you know, and it's fun with you and the kids. This is, I'll just take a little bit of this, whoops, and we'll smooth it around. And there we go. It's too bad that I had to break, but that's okay. And there you go. Now, you can do different ones. That's pretty good. Sorry. Going to do it again. And we're going to smooth it out just a few seconds. And we're going to put, let's say we'll put some of this in here. Your hot chocolate. And let's do marshmallows in this one. Now these are a little bit smaller than, than the other ones that I've seen. They're bigger. And you can probably get a little bit more in there. So, yeah. But, I mean, I like the small ones. And, uh, there you go. And we'll just, let's try to put a little bit of these sprinkled candy in here too. Now, you could use candy canes if you want and smash them up and put them in here. That would work too. Hopefully I don't break this one. And just put it on top, like so. And there you go. Mm, sorry, the chocolate's melting. It melts quickly, so you want to kind of just put it on there. And some people, what they do is decorate them. You can decorate them if you like. Um, they buy that candy sparkle. And that edible sparkle that you can buy for baking and stuff, and you can use that and um, make it pretty. I don't have any, 
but you could do that if you wanted to give them away. We're just going to use them for here. Ah, well, that was a fail. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, guys, I kind of cleaned up my mess a little bit. Now what you're going to do, I heated it um, back up, so you could do that. And then you just put it on top. I think it would be best not to touch them as much as you have to. Because they do crumble. I might have took them out of the fridge too long, too early. I'd say about between 10 and 15 minutes. Um, if you put them in the freezer, probably could go faster. Mm. Playing with the candy. Eating it. <laughs> so... And I just take the other part and kind of use it as a seal. So that, that way it will keep closed a little bit. And not hold it so much. It's not perfect. This is my first time doing it. So, yeah. So I think it's a cute idea. Um, yeah, the more you do... The more, you know, you get used to it, the more, the better you get, you know. You find ways of doing it. Um, I wish I had some candy canes. I would have crushed them up and put them in here. And, uh, but we're just making them for here. And you could give them for a gift. You know, put them in uh, a little Christmas um, cellophane that you can get at Dollar Tree. And, uh, yeah, you could... Make them as a gift. And there. You just want to be very diff careful. Because you don't want to break them. I got candy on my finger. And I'm just taking the excess that melted and just kind of sealing it with it. Um, I might warm up some of that chocolate I still have and kind of use it as a sealer more. I think that might work a lot better. To, to make sure you got it sealed. Um, yeah, so you got them. That's cute. And I'm going to do some more. And I will show you my result. But I think I'll, I'll be back. I'll, I'll show you with the, the chocolate that how I sealed it better. I think it will work a little bit better. So I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I melted this a little bit more because it's starting to get hot. And what I'm going to do, we're going to do these ones. I took them out of the mold. I'm getting my plate that I'm warming up. And we're going to do this again. Hopefully. And every time you seem to do it, it seems to get a little uh, nicer. And um, you get used to doing it. So, And i um, put some marshmallows. And this one, and I'm just going to put marshmallows in it, and then I'll take this. I should have done this with this one, but I didn't, so we'll try to seal it, and that's the whole trick, is trying to seal it, so I'm going to dip my finger in this a little bit, so, and, and all I'm going to do is cover it up with the, the chocolate a little bit. Now, I like the idea with the plate, um, but you can't keep it on there too long because it will melt too much, and then it won't seal. So you got to be really careful with that. But it is probably quicker and not so messy, and it gives it a nice clean look. I mean, like you do it this way, you know, it's going to dry, and it'll probably blend in, but it won't look as nice as the other one. So I'm trying to see what would work better. Like you can see that one and how it's sealed. It looks a little bit better except for the broken pieces. And that's because it melted too much, excuse me, too much. And so you kind of don't want to do it too many times on here. Just a couple. And then put this in here. And we'll put a little bit more in there. I mean, you can do as much as you want um, to taste. And, uh, yeah, hold on just a moment. Huh, wasn't recording. 
unicorn. Anyways, I, I got this in there. I put the, the unicorn mix in there and some marshmallows. There are marshmallows in this. And um, you could just use this if you wanted. There's some marshmallow um, if you wanted. Now, this sucker's melting on me, so I kind of got to move a little bit. And put this seal on here. And I would keep them in the refrigerator, especially in Florida. Um, yeah, because they're melting. So, you know, you keep them in the refrigerator to stay a little bit harder. And then when you're ready to get them out, just take them out and uh, then get to room temperature, I would, for a few minutes. So I'm using this too with that. And I think it works good. Um, it is a little bit messy. Yeah. So, yeah. So there you go. And yeah, see, I have a couple of holes. That's because the mold, when you put the chocolate in, the chocolate was too thin. And it, it left a hole in it. So you have to make sure you have a thickness. Not real thick, but you want a, a good good thickness in there. So I got chocolate all over my hands. <coughs> so, um, yeah. So. Um, another thing you could do, like I said, you could put sparkles on these and um, do Christmas colors. And do a sparkle gold and whatever you can find. I don't have any, unfortunately, or I would show you. Um, yeah. So, this one's kind of broken. So, I'm just kind of going to use it like this a little bit. It might not be hot enough now. It's got cold. So, I'm going to heat this back up. And I'm going to get some more molds. And we'll, we'll keep doing this until I get them all done. I'll be back. Okay guys, we are back, and I'm going to open up, I did, you could buy the uh, Hershey chocolate in the, in the big can, and you could use it that way. We just buy these because, you know, and I, I just like, it's one cup, but you're not going to put that much in a bomb. Um, so, you're going to measure them out, and I got one ready here. I'm just going to make this a plain one with no marshmallows or candy in it. And I'm just going to hook it up together, just like so. And I'm going to take a little bit out of here and just go around it. Kind of seals it. It helps it. Well, maybe. Ooh, you don't want to do that. Nope. So you want to kind of seal it. Now you notice how hard it is. It's not perfect. Yeah. So, um, as I did these, I, you kind of practice before you want to give them out. Um, yeah, yeah, you want them perfect for others, but, you know, I'll do another one. I noticed my last mold that I had, it came out a lot better. Um, probably because I knew I had to put more of the chocolate on the mold. This is not working. It's giving me a hard time to see how it's falling apart. And this is what you don't want to do. All right. So, um, uh, just trying to seal it around the sides. Uh, and uh, I've seen people do it this way. And I've also seen them do it with the plate. So, um, kind of do what you think is best. <laughs> and once they, they seal... Put your hands again. Um, once you, you know, get it sealed, it'll harden. Once it hardens, it'll, it'll, it'll keep it together. It's just trying to get it there. Um, yeah, it's a little, not easy, but it's not real hard either. I mean, you just get used to it. The more you do, the better off you get, right? And this is my first time doing this, so. I thought they were pretty cool. And so... <laughs> Now you need to really do both ends on this, so I'm going to do this end here, and put what I want in there. Now I'll do this one too as a, a plain one, and I'm going to take the top, twirl it around on the plate, 
as you see it melts and just place it on there as even as you can and see how well that sealed and just let it be and let it sit and that should be it for that one now that's the easiest way to do it um, I think and it kind of smooths the edges too so it makes a lot nicer edging and uh, because I've seen some, they take a knife and they will try to make it, and I don't know how they do that without breaking it, because you see how easy it is for me to break them. So, um, yeah, I don't know how they do that. So, And when your plate gets cold, just put it on the stove for a few minutes on low. And uh, here we go. And then there. And these are a couple plain ones because not everybody likes the marshmallows and all that. And just let them sit there. My plate's getting cold, so I'm going to put it back on and we're going to do these and we'll be back. Okay, guys, I got them done. And you know, they're not perfect, but you know, as you do it, the more you do it, I think the better you get at it. But just make sure you get all the edges all the way around because you'll have a hole and then your, your bomb ain't going to be as nice or pretty. So you want to not do exactly what I did. You know, my last batch, it came out really good. I was really kind of happy with it. So, um, yeah. So you just use a spoon and put it up around. Make it a little bit thicker than I did the first batch. I did make the last batch a little thicker, and it did help. You don't want it too thick, but you don't want it too thin either. So now I have my white chocolate here. So what I'm going to do, I'm got, I got an idea what I'm going to do. So I will um, come back after I melt this and show you what I'm going to do with the bombs. Okay guys, sorry about that. Some medical stuff for my mom came. Um, so, yeah. So what I'm doing, I'm going to try to see how well this one's going to work. I don't know if it will because it's, it wasn't what I thought it was. You know, it was a regular vanilla. So be careful with that. Um, I mean, I really just wanted regular vanilla. I mean, you know, vanilla chocolate. So, I didn't know it had all this other stuff in it. And it doesn't really say on the front. It just says vanilla natural flavored, melt make, mi microwavable, just like the chocolate one. Until you go right here, and there's the Oreo cookies right there. So, Got to read. <laughs> so, oh well. So I'm going to do a couple of these molds. And I'll put them in the fridge for probably about 10, 15 minutes. Like I did the other ones. Until they harden. And uh, we'll go from there. It wasn't what I thought. So it's all chunky because it had the Oreo cookies in here. So, yeah. I was like, what's that smell? Yeah, you're smelling the Oreo cookies. So, this might be something different. I don't know how good they will be for a mold. We'll see. Um, I put it on a little thicker than I did the chocolate. I don't know. We'll see how well that works. I'm going to do this one, and then we'll put them in the, in the fridge here. And I'll do it that way. What I was going to do, I thought it was just vanilla, and I was going to mount it and drizzle it on top of the chocolate and make it kind of a little bit prettier. Um, this is really thick. Uh, if I put it in maybe a little bit longer, it gets in. I don't know. It might burn it, and you don't want burnt chocolate. You know, it, it won't taste good. So, um, yeah. So, we'll see. I could take it and maybe dip it in so it gets a little bit on the outside and see how that works. Maybe I'll try like my, my bad ones over there and see how well I can try it. I mean, it's called being creative, right? And kind of making it your own. And, uh, yeah. 
So, I mean, I was thinking vanilla because not everybody can have chocolate, you know. So, um, and it it's fun to give a different different kinds. I mean, you could probably just buy chocolate bars, vanilla chocolate bars, and, and melt them over the stove. I just thought the, the microwave one would be safer for kids and, uh, you know, quicker. So, you know, you don't, you're busy at this time of year. You're trying to bake, you're trying to do all these things, but you want to have fun with your kids and do something fun, you know? So, um, yeah. So I'll put these in here. And I'll do these two molds here. I'm kind of disappointed, but <laughs> surprised at the same time. So make sure you're checked. They do have um, ones online. I noticed on Amazon they have they have the candy um, chocolate too on there. You can get them for your molds if you want to do that way. So, anyways, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna let these go in the fridge for a few minutes and see you can it's too thick you know I, I guess I could maybe roll one but uh, I don't know you want to drizzle it on top and with the, the cookie in it I don't think it'll be very easy to drizzle so I'm gonna stick these in the fridge and then when they're done I'll bring you back and we'll see what we can do with these ones Okay guys, we're back. These are done. I'm going to put them on the plate. We're going to poke them out like we did the chocolate ones here. Now look, they're a little bit rougher. I mean, I was really surprised that they had the cookies in these ones. It doesn't even say on the front that they have the cookies. The only place they have it on the side like I showed you. So I was kind of surprised. So, But I think these might turn out pretty good. Not too bad. They're a little bit rough in the side, but they ain't going to matter. You're going to have them closed up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to warm up my plate. And, oops, sorry, didn't mean to move you. I'm going to warm up my plate over here for a few minutes. On the stove. And while we're doing that, I'm going, well, I don't want to do anything. Anyways, what I found, I found one of these, these little candy bags. That's what I was talking about. And you could put one of these balls or a couple of them in here, just like so, and use them as a Christmas gift. And put a little red tie or a bow on it. And, uh, yeah, you have enough room for a couple of these. You could pile up four if you wanted to and just a little bow on top or whatever and good to go for a Christmas present and uh, kids love them you know it's fun for the kids it's fun for, for everyone so anyways I just thought I'd show you that um, yeah so I'm warming up my thing and uh, let's see if my other mold is done it should be it took a little longer with these ones because they are thicker They are a lot thicker. That's because of the cookie in them. So, and everybody's been eyeing at them. My mother's been in here pacing. She wants a chocolate one. She thinks you just eat it. I haven't told her what you do with it. <laughs> so we'll show you how what we do after I do these ones, and I'll bring her in, and she can sit here and have one with me. So, now I gotta check on my plate here. See if it's warm enough yet. Almost, not quite. You don't want to put it on too high because it might crack your plate. So, yeah, see? These are a lot thicker. See how rough they are? But they're smooth on the outside. See? That's kind of neat. So, we'll see. Um, I'm not going to put marshmallows in these ones because these have marshmallows in them already. So I'm going to just put the candy in there. And if I had candy canes and I mushed them up, I would have used them instead. It probably would have been uh, pretty cool. But I don't have any, so we make what we got. So, yeah. 
So I will be back as soon as my plate warms up. Okay guys, I got it warmed up. So we're going to do exactly what we did with the chocolate ones. Just twirl it around a little bit on here. Let it warm up. And... I don't know, I may not have it warm enough. I'm trying to hurry here a little bit. Um, so, you put a little bit of chocolate in here. And I'm just going to put the sprinkles in this one. Just like so. You got the little sprinkles in this. And I'm going to take another one and zip it through. Just like I did the chocolate ones. And then we'll just seal it. Just like so. Bruno, you need to go eat your own food. Bruno likes the cat food. And I don't know why, but there. So, we'll just let it sit. I don't think my plate is warm enough, but I'm going to do all these. You have already seen me do them with the, black, or with the chocolate ones. And I will get these done. When I'm done with them, then we'll bring my mother in. And um, let her try one. Be right back. Okay, guys. So now we are going to make two cups of milk in a saucepan. Okay? Oops, and don't spill it. So um, we're going to turn it on. And we're going to wait for it to, to come to a rolling boil. Just... Just lightly. You don't want it really hard. Just enough to make it nice and warm. I'm looking for a spoon. And so you want to keep it stirred. You want to keep it stirred up so you don't burn it. And we'll let this go. And do it say. I have my mother over here. And she is going to be my tester for today. So we're going to Test these out and see how good they are. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I had trouble with my camera here. So as you can see, I got the milk all hot. Just enough to to a little, little bit of rolling, okay? So we're going to go over to the table. And we're going to move you over there. And I'm not turning you off because I've been having trouble with my camera. So not the camera itself, it's the... Um, the phone and I wanted to be able to have it angled right so I would really prefer the little camera thing that's on the top of that camera that would really work good but uh, it is what it is okay so we can see it pretty good all right so now some people they put the bombs in their cup first and then pour the warm milk on top or you can put the milk in and put the bomb in. So I think we're going to put the milk in first and then we're going to put the bomb in, okay? So I just had enough milk for this. Shea Bear can't drink this. He is lactose intolerant. So I want to make sure we have plenty here. You don't have to fill this thing all the way up. I guess not. I mean, you know. I'm going to even it up. Will you watch your nose, please? And so, anyways, what kind you want? You want chocolate or you want the vanilla? Mm -hmm. I like chocolate. You want chocolate? Let me check and make sure my camera's aiming at you, too. Yep, we got it all. Okay. And what you do, you take one of these bombs. They're called hot chocolate bombs, okay? You're going to put it in your cup, cup here. Of hot milk. Of hot milk. And you're just going to let it go in. And you can play with it with your spoon and stir it around slowly. It's a shame. They look so I'm nice. I'm going to do a vanilla one because um, so you can see what it does. And we're going to put it in here and slowly mix it up. Oh, wow. And here we go. Show what's happening closer. Let me see. This is her chocolate one, so you can see it. Marshmallows it, come out of it. Uh-huh. 
and then I'm stirring mine. Now most of the ones I did with the vanilla ones I put the uh, candy in only because there's already marshmallows into the uh, vanilla. So, and also there is Oreo cookies in this one. So I didn't want to put too much in. You know, it, it's up to you if you want to add more or less or whatever. So you just stir it up. And, and drink it. And you drink it. It's hot chocolate. That's what it is. And be careful because it's hot. Yummy. You like that? Yeah. What's it taste like? Hot chocolate. With what? Chocolate. Now some of the ones, the chocolate ones, I did marshmallows only with the hot chocolate, or some I put both in the candy and the hot, ch um, the marshmallows, and then some I just did chocolate. The, you know, the the chocolate with the chocolate on. So I'm going to try mine because this is supposed to be a uh, Oreo cookie in this one. As you see, it's smoothed out. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. That's really good. I like it. I was worried about this one because I was kind of surprised. But it's got the candy in there. You can taste it. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Very, very nice. And you can stir it up some more as you as you drink it. So it's up to you. Can you just eat these? No. Because you have cocoa in the middle of them. Oh, okay. These are for hot chocolates. Oh. They're not for so, just biting in and eating them. Because no. they look good enough to bite in and no, eat them. No, <laughs> no, you don't do that. Or you're going to get a, how, a mouthful of powder. <laughs> <laughs> that would be not be good. Mm -mm. So it's a fun thing you can do with your kids. It took me some time. And as you do, you know, I, I noticed mine got better as I went. These were a lot easier to do than the chocolate ones for what I think because it was thicker. And um, and like I said, you can decorate these too. I don't have the uh, sparkles with the ca the candy sparkles, so you can eat it. If I did, we could have we could have done some sparkles on here. We could have drizzled some chocolate on here, but my chocolate is already hard, and uh, you can only use it so long. So you could drizzle chocolate on top of this if you wanted to. And you could do vanilla for the chocolate ones if you want to. So, I mean, it's your creativity and what you like. And, and it's fun with the kids. You know, this is something you can do with the kids. They're not going to get, really get burnt except for the milk. And the adults can do that. Um, yeah. So, I like it. What do you think? Wow, they taste really good. Yeah. I'm going to make one with Sh for Shea Bear, but I'm going to use hot water for him. And uh, see how he likes that because he likes chocolate. And uh, he, he, I think he'll like them. It's really good. It's excellent. It and did take a bit of time, though, for you to do. Yeah, and they do take a little bit. It depends how many you want to make. I mean, you can make maybe just six. And, and six would give you, like, three. Because yeah. you got to put them together. Yeah. Okay, so I had more molds because it gave me four molds. For uh -huh. the, and I got them from Amazon. And they're smaller. These are smaller ones than the bigger ones. Some people use the bigger ones, but to me, I like the small ones. That was pl that's plenty for a cup of hot chocolate. Yeah, plenty. Yeah. I mean, you would if you had more, it would just be too much. Yeah, yeah. And like you saw that I, we only had the package ones, so I poured it out and I I scooped it a couple of scoops into my into my bomb. That's what I did. So. But these ones really held good. I didn't have any trouble, you know. And another thing that I did with these that I didn't do with those, that I took these because I already showed you how to do it. I took these over to the stove, and I just left the plate on top, on low, and it worked better. I think me bringing it over here was cooling it down too fast, and it wasn't making a seal long enough. So I think, yeah, I, I think that's the trick and uh, to, to put them together. So anyways, you could put candy canes inside of them and all kinds of stuff, you know. Uh, just be creative. And, and great, great kids thing. I, I think this would have been, my kids would have loved this. 
you know, we used to do arts and crafts, my kids and I, when, when they were ki kids, you know, little kids. And uh, we had lots of fun. We'd set the table and do, do this. Because, I mean, you have to keep them occupied in the wintertime. <sighs> and we were living in North Carolina, and then we get a lot of ice storms up there. So, anyways, um, that's it for now. I hope you liked the video. I'm going to put this together and hopefully get it uploaded for you. And... Hope Thumbs you. up, Mom, on it. Thumbs up, and I hope you try it, because it's delicious. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm glad she likes it. I like to have another opinion besides my own. Um, sometimes that helps and makes it a little bit nicer. But I'm going to make Shea Bear one, and he can let you know later down the road if he liked it or not. Okay? So, y'all have a good rest of the week. I get my hair ready for tomorrow. I have to go to the hairdressers and get my nails done tomorrow and pick up my boots. So, I'm ready for the wedding on Sunday. So, I can't speak. Sunday so, or Saturday? Sunday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, um, I might also try to find a sweater that I can wear on top because it's been cold and I don't know how warm it's going to be on Sunday. It's supposed to be 76. On Sunday? Mm -hmm. Oh, that will be nice. That will be perfect for her. So, anyways, so we'll get this uploaded and y'all have a good rest of the week and stay tuned. Uh, I think we'll do a few things on the wedding. Um, it's more her day, so, and, and I'm not going to do a whole thing for, for YouTube, so... But we'll show you what our outfits look like and stuff like that. So stay tuned for all that. Bye for now. Monkey says she's out. Bye. Okay, guys. So I made Shea Bear his with water. And one bomb wasn't enough. Um, so we put another one in and it seemed to be better. So if you're going to do it with hot water, I would say to put two bombs in it. Depending on how big your cup is, you may want to put three if you have a big cup like the big cup I have with the milk in it. Um, but if you have just a regular coffee cup, you know, the tall ones, that may, two would probably be enough. So, Perfect. what did you think of it, babe? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, the two bombs is perfect with yeah. two bombs. So that's a good thing to know because I didn't know if it would work with the water. You know, I should because we put water with the hot chocolate most of the time anyways. But um, some people are, are lacto intolerant, so they can't have milk. So at least you know you can use these bombs with water. Just make sure you use more than one um, so hey, it, hey, it, it tastes taste better. better with yeah, it, it well it was. It was really good. And the nice thing with the milk, it makes your tummy warm and... And it kind of puts you to sleep, make you sleepy. So milk's yeah. always better with hot chocolate. Yeah, I just so. can't have that much milk. No, no, he can have the the what's in that, and that's about it. And it may bother him later. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, it won't. He doesn't drink chocolate much, hot chocolate. You don't have it, but once in a while. So, anyways, that's it. And uh, I already ended it once, but I'll end it again. Uh, Mikey says she's out for now. I'm going to put this all together so we can get it uploaded. So, take care, everyone, and I'll see you again soon. Mikey says she's out for now. Bye, y'all.